Alrighty, what is up folks? It's Drew from Fastland Emergency Vehicles and I am back with another gorgeous vehicle. What we have here is a Chevrolet Suburban for Cuyahoga Falls. Uh, this is a repeat vehicle, sort of. Um, so we're going to, as always, we're going to dig in, check this bad boy out and see what it's all about. Alrighty, so like I mentioned before, this is sort of a repeat vehicle. I say that because this is a modern reimagination of a truck we did, you know, quite, uh, actually quite a few years ago at this point. Um, this has a little bit of importance to me because when they first kind of thrust me in this role and put me in front of a camera, one of the first vehicles we did a video on was the um, previous truck. So a older version of a Chevrolet Tahoe that we did for Cuyahoga. So full circle. Um, we're going to take this tip to butt as always because that's the best way to do it. Um, what we have here is a West End push bumper with the winch mount. I actually do really love doing these because you have a big old worn winch there, a lot of utility. Um, you have a couple four inch M powers facing forward. We're going to take it to the side and go down the uh, see what's going on here. For front intersection lighting here on the front bumper, another four inch M power. You see the graphics package, obviously printed and cut here in house. Uh, really like the door seal, it's pretty neat. Got an octopus on it, it's pretty cool. Um, Enforce light bar and see how it sits really good against these rails. So like the SSVs and the PPV Tahoes don't have these luggage rack rails. Um, obviously the, the Suburbans do. It's just really slick, it fits really well. I like that, it's good fitment. Good job boys. Um, a little bit of a transition in the graphics. Kuzmo auto eject here in the C pillar. Another four inch M power uh, mounted here for rear intersection lighting in a shroud in the back window. Uh, back here on the bump, back bumper, um, two four inch M powers as well. Chevrons under the door seal. I like doing this. It actually looks really good in the SUVs. So they, someone had good taste when they uh, spec the graphics on this truck. And then a six module uh, rear M or rear rear M power arrow. Alrighty, so it's hot outside and the air conditioning is super nice, so I'm going to take my time with this. Uh, what we have up here, as always, an overhead console, CAD design, CNC cut, powder coat, aluminum face plates, uh, all the fun stuff. Uh, you have two three-quarter inch dome lights, as well as obviously the cutouts for your radio speakers, three of them as always. You have your OEM dome light off button. Um, so that's something different the Tahoe's don't have actually. Uh, you have a 4.3 inch fast flex touchscreen. This overhead is actually set up really similar to the St. George Tahoe's where it's not canted like biased towards the driver. So the passenger or the driver can actuate the screen uh, equal, with, with equal ease. And then you have your OEM airbag module and all your OnStar stuff. So very fancy. Down here at the console, same construction as the overhead. A 20 bus Eaton fuse block here on the side. All fused items in the vehicle located right there. You have your OEM power points. Um, you have some uh, override auxiliary analog switches that you know, can control, has some of the same functionality as, as a fast flex here, so you can turn your lights on, do whatever. Um, you have your uh, a provision for a tablet mount, should you decide to use one in the future, so it has a little key mod shape here. Uh, customer provided radio heads keys, this goes in the keyhole. Um, you have a wireless charger, very fancy stuff with the Apple lock-in one. See my phone even has a case and it's just like staying there. Um, nice and magnetic, charges your phone. Uh, USBs and 12 volt power points, um, backlit, you have the USB-C as well. Um, a customer provided portable charger will be installed here day of delivery and you have a singular cup holder. Fabricated aluminum adjustable armrests, Big old map book slot, and then back here you have your factory 110 volt inverter and your factory USB-C power points. Again, because this is a little bit of a higher trim than the PPV and the SSV, so you have some more factory accoutrements. Big words. All right, back seat time. Psych, there is no back seat. So what we have here is a full back seat deletion uh, rear cabinet. Um, so you have your just storage. You know, you got storage cubby here, open storage here, and a big tray here. Um, probably could throw some med bags or do whatever back here. On the back side of the console, you can also notice in this faceplate here that the OEM um, rear HVAC controls are retained. Again, being a civilian model suburban, there's a little bit more stuff here. No one's going to be using that because no one's sitting back here, but we are still retaining it. Hopping over to the other side. 
We can see the meat and potatoes of the cabinet. So you have your electrical box down there, inverter controller, which the inverter is also controlled by the Fastplex touchscreens. Open up these bad boys, and you have yourself a nice um, latching storage area with the bulb seal. So this is you know airtight, nice gear drawer, clean cab type stuff. Uh, entry point for your electrical box down here as well. Diffuse strip lighting inside this bad boy. You know, let you guys get in there and you can see the nice little gear locker. All uh, right, so we're gonna open up the hatch here. I don't remember if I said six inch or six module, but I meant six module when I was talking about the Empower Arrow. I kind of fudged that, but fixing it now. Um, lifting up the lift gate, we have blue tape. Peel that off real quick. Uh, every now and then on these videos, you'll see sometimes that there's blue tape in locations. If you've ever been curious as to what that's for, um, during the pre-build meetings, all the techs go around the trucks and basically put blue tape where the light heads are going to be or some a point of interest. So we just fix that. So I'm not going to cut it because this is a good learning experience. Uh, but anyway, we have four, uh, uh, two four-inch M powers back here. Turn on the command light functionality. So they are red, amber, green. Um, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not red, amber, green. Because uh, you have green light bar, so these must just be red, amber. Cool. Anyway. Um, so back here you have the rear cabinet and this thing is super cool. Um, really interesting design. You have a lot of like compound angles. You have a power strip up there, a little RCC faceplate, a uh, couple of uh, Motorola uh, radio heads provided by the customer, lots of power points, uh, dual USB, dual USB, dual USB with USB-C. So you have an iPhone 15 plus, you can uh, do a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, 4.3 inch touchscreen here. Open up this file drawer. Um, dividers for files, so if you're, you know, storing files, as the name implies, gonna open up this. So you have a vertical command board, kind of more like a placard. This thing is ginormous, super cool. You can write all kinds of stuff here. Pull out this drawer with the integrated drawer release handle. Uh, this is a very large, just kind of you know, storage tray for gear bags. Got another one, this little command word back here. Pop this up so you have your little command station. Gastro assisted. And you have a trough for storage, trough for storage, trough for storage. And you can just chill right here, be nice and happy under the lift gate with the four three quarter inch dome lights and the radio speakers. Have access to your radio, have access to your touchscreen. You're living the dream back here. Alrighty folks, as always, I would like to start by thanking you for taking time to watch this video with me. Um, obviously, this is a bit of an unorthodox kind of niche cabinet. And I like these because this kind of highlights our ability to do custom stuff. This is something you're not going to find anywhere else. This is a really neat cabinet. Um, it's going to serve their specific use perfectly. Um, and that's you know kind of stuff that we have the capability of doing. Um, like I said before, the first one of these trucks is one of the first ones I ever did a video on, so it's kind of cool, like I said, to come full circle with it. Um, but I'm kind of rambling at this point, but you know, you know the deal. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more cool Fastlane content, and I'll see you folks next time.